Hey, welcome to the Mary Mike's Mix game. We did a recording of writing and commentary today. I'm uh, this is Mix Game Mike. I'm joined with John Lucas, one of the players. Jersey John on the stream. Jersey John on the stream. So we put this game together so we could kind of showcase some of the mix game that we have going on. We are able to get a game like this going fairly regularly. We normally do dealer's choice. For this game, though, we decided to do a specific rotation, primarily because the uh, computer system that runs the RPD table and all those kinds of things, uh, it has to have logic to process who wins the game and how to display things and stuff like that. So we just limited it to games that the software supports in this case. So. Yeah, for example, we're starting out with Congress. And uh, normally when we play the mixed game, we do a double board. Right. So, but uh, this is good too. But yeah. Uh, fun game. In case uh, for players that don't know how to play Congress, it's a five card game instead of a four card game. High low split pot. And. Yeah, Congress is what it's known uh, regionally. It's also known as Big O right. or uh, Big Mitt in a couple of places, uh, or just uh, formally known as Five Card Omaha High Low Split. I see Robert put in a raise on this. He has a very nice starting hand. <laughs> got Ace Queen Ten Rainbow there on the flop. Yeah, not the best flop for that Ace Eight Four Four. Yeah, if you hadn't played a lot of four and five card games, you know. Single pair hands are not particularly good. No, you, especially want, uh, you want two pair sets, draws to flushes and straights. Especially on a very draw heavy board like that. Even though it's rainbow, it's still you know, the King Jacks and a lot of combinations there that beat a one pair hand. Yeah, so more than likely, you know, Johnny has something like King Jack or Queen King or Queen Jack, something like that, where he's got a pair and a draw is the most likely thing that he's got there, possibly two pair. I believe we do get to see his cards at the very end here. Yeah, and Robert does make a pretty pr pretty good low here. Pretty good low. That's going to be the second low there, which is going to be good enough for half. And it looks like Johnny did indeed have jack-jack-ace, so he had the pair of aces with jacks to give him a straight if a king yeah. were to show up. And then he ended up with the two pair there, I see, yeah. I believe, what, ace seven, yeah. So split pot for the first hand. Which a lot of these hands, when you play these play for pot games, will. And um, but the beauty of playing this five ten game is uh, when you do scoop a hand, you get a kill, and that doubles the blinds for the next hand. Yes. So. Which we had on a few of these. Uh, actually, not very many, but uh, a couple of them did end up being kills. So. Here. Let's see. D comes in. He's got the aces. With with the suit. Mm -hmm. He goes ahead and raises it up to a second bet. Kind of kind of hand you don't really want to see low cards on because he won't make the great low. Yep. Flops the set. He flops the set, but it's a very vulnerable set yeah, because exactly. King Ten has it just buried. Yep. Yep. You're always happy to flop a set, but. Not always happy to flop a set with that kind of board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now it turns out no one has king ten, but yeah. people do have draws. Yep. <laughs> and now you bring the diamond, the backdoor diamonds, mm -hmm. and it the happens low. to be no one has diamonds, right. but of course the person flopping a set doesn't right. know. You that. don't know that. That's right. what that's what makes this game very tricky sometimes. There's a ten, so now a king and a copy is going to have Broadway, and that's what D ends up with. D does end up with that. Yep. He goes from top set to Broadway. Now, Jason is in a tough spot because he rivered a set, and he's got to wonder if his set might be good because D could be taking this line with ace-queen, ace-jack, or queen-jack uh, fairly easily and fairly commonly and have similar results, and he's got to realize that the way D let out, it seems more likely that he has either a set of queens 
or aces. And and Jason plays a lot of mix. He's a very smart player. I play with him a lot. He knows he's beat there. And so, you know, sets sets in these games, especially uh, third set or fourth set in this case, aren't right. Aren't as strong as you would, as in a Hold'em game. And Hold'em. So. Yeah, and Hold'em you you pr probably call there. Yeah. Uh, but in yeah. Omaha, you can get away from it because it just the chances of him having something better are too high. And in this case, he's right. We're still doing Congress here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got. Now, we are going to see during the process of this, especially in five card games, a lot of unread hands. And um, the readers. You know, it's a little technical, a little tricky, but they only read two cards deep. So, um, you know, some players uh, don't put any cards over the reader until they have all five of them. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to read all five at one time. You know, you got to kind of spread them out, shuffle them a little bit. There's some techniques to kind of use to try to get it to read better, but, you know, sometimes it just has some issues. So, Yeah, I see with the stream that mm -hmm. I definitely had some problems with that. I thought I was doing it. <laughs> Right, but yeah. I know a few of my hands didn't yeah. pick up, so we'll work on that for next time. Yeah, I think I know what I was doing wrong. We'll have we'll have other opportunities. So, uh, Robert's got middle set here. Yeah, Robert picks up middle set, which is uh, it's not bad, uh, you know. But again, you could be behind kings. Yep. Um, you got people with draws, and then you got to you know see if any of those draws pan out. He's got a club draw. He's got to worry about. He's got a Broadway uh, draw. He's got to worry about. So. And, and then if somebody has a strong low with those hands, you're definitely not going to knock them out. So. Now, the good news is probably no one has kings because right. no one raised them. Right. Right. If, if uh, you lead out on a board like this with the middle set and someone raises, they probably have top set. Not always. Some people get really creative with uh, top two or not sure. really strong draws. But um, but this is th – these. I always say in these games, you know – if you fear monsters under the closet or under the bed, whatever that term is, right. <laughs> I screwed up, butchered That's that. Right. But it's usually there. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, uh, top set versus middle set happens all the time in these mm -hmm. type of games. Um, uh, you know, nut lows versus peanut lows, which mm -hmm. is the second second low, happens all the time in these games. You just have to be wary. You try to minimize, you know, your losses in those situations That's if true. you're going to run into that. Yeah. Right at the end of the hand, uh, Robert said, uh, make sure you put that on the stream. It was a good bluff. I remember him saying and, that. Uh, so he was lying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll, be able to hear, we'll be able to hear the table talk a little bit. It'll be kind of background, uh, but it's there. Oh. You might be able to hear it. So well, that's why I put the nice bluff uh, sir, up. We'll have to, yeah, we'll have to yeah. discuss that with Robert later. Yeah. Yeah. Robert's a good guy. I like, I like uh, the, the, going the back and forth The second set him. bluff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, some bluff there, Robert. Yeah. <laughs> Bluffing with the best hand. Uh, Jason picked up a nice ace three deuce, which is uh, with suited uh, with the jack ten. That's a very strong mm -hmm. hand. Uh, what else we got here? Robert's got a fairly decent hand. I'm not sure about Johnny Rod's hand, but hey, he flopped open ended. But uh, you know, sometimes you flop well, even That's when right. you have uh, end up with trips like that. So Jason, Jason. Uh, I would say flop pretty good there with the nut draw, nut both ways. It's a good draw for him. That's a very strong hand, and he's right right to raise it there. And you want to start building pots even when you have a draw this big. And uh, now he's there with the nut yep. low. So right away he's got the nut low, and even if an ace two or three comes out, he's got the nuts after that. So uh, and Johnny Rod made the straight, right? They call the yes. uncounterfeitable low. That does give Johnny Rod the straight with that nine 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 jack. And yep, the magic card. There it is. And the really good card for Jason on the in there gives that. him the nut flush and the nut low. Uh, I do remember this hand now because Jason was very happy. He was very happy to, to say, be able nut, to say nut. nut nut. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. I sometimes go months without being able yes. to say that, and it's so exciting when it yeah. finally get to say it again. Yeah, like, it's, a, yes. it's always a great feeling to be able yes. to say nut nut because mm -hmm. you're always guaranteed at least three quarters. I mean, you're usually yeah. going to scoop, but uh, nut's going to give you three quarters in case uh, another ace deuce is out there. Yep. Especially when one of the nuts is a flush. Yes. Straights are a different story, That's but true. flushes you hold alone if you got the nut flush. Yes. Yeah.
So pictured on screen here, we haven't really gone over the players, but we have uh, Syed here in seat one. We have Roy in seat two. Jason's in seat three. And um, I guess commentator today, Jay, uh, Jersey, Jersey John. John, pardon me, <laughs> in seat four. Uh-huh. Uh, that's Ron sitting next to me in seat five. Mm -hmm. I enjoy playing with Ron a lot. He, mm -hmm. he just tells some of the most fascinating stories. So I was, I was happy to be, I had a good seat placement here between Jason and Ron, two good guys that mm -hmm. I like playing with. Yep. These gentlemen are all regulars in our mixed game uh, that runs about three times a week. Yep. I believe this is the hand right after Jason's nut nut hand, yeah. so he's got the kill still. He does still. have the kill, so now we're playing uh, 10 20 this hand. It's not lights, it's uh, he's going to send it and release it probably. Must have hidden graphics from the first part of this. I forgot that this was in here, so. They must come back later, or I would have cut this hand out. No more helping you out. It looks like we're going to go just three ways there we go. to a flop. There we go. Got him turned back on. Jason has another decent hold in there with a suited ace and a three. And flops the nut low draw with some backdoor possibilities. Yep. To when the you high. got ace three, you really want to see that deuce on the flop. That's yep. for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Doesn't guarantee anything, but it definitely helps. Yep, and it's nice to have those back doors, see what that turn brings, especially if it's a little low spade in Jason's case would be a beautiful mm -hmm. card. Now he's got a perfect Broadway wrap, yep. which means any Broadway card shows up and he's got Broadway. Yeah, so he's wrapped up pretty good here. That's definitely something you, you want to lead out with uh, or call or whatever, all those kind of things. I remember this hand now. Yeah, yeah, and he bricks out totally. Totally bricks out, pairs the board. And I believe so I remember. So now he's like, man, I miss, how did it, everything miss? I know what he's thinking right there. Yeah. Misses oh. the low, misses the high, and Johnny's like, I got a surprise for you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Jason was very, very so not, very upset he missed everything yeah. there. <laughs> we didn't get the official cards from Johnny, but I can tell you for sure he had the king of diamonds and the king of hearts. Yes, he did. He uh, had king quads. Of, king of clubs. Yes. Yeah, because um, he had quads. Yes. So he was, he was thrilled. He was a little sad he didn't get to go to showdown, so he turned him over anyway. Yep, I, rem I remember seeing him. I, re I remember seeing the quads. Yep. And, uh, yeah, we were talking about I didn't run the numbers on this hand, but me and uh, I know Jason, we were talking about it after. It's like, how many hands were top set? Uh, you're actually pretty much close to a favorite over top set. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's that's just the beauty of this game sometimes. Yeah, that's true, right? <laughs> because he had so many draws. Because he had so, so much many that he's going to yeah. he, – he's very rarely ever going to get scooped there. And it turns out that's the one time he did. Yeah. Uh, okay, we switched games to Badoogie, which is a triple draw game, four-card triple draw. And the objective of this game is a low ball game, and you want to get all four suits represented with no pairs. So you're looking for – Ace, two, three, four in all four different suits. That's the objective for the nuts. It is not as easy as it sounds. I know. It sounds so simple. It and then sounds it's like the easiest that. game in the world. It is not. Yep. And if you notice, uh, I saw it before, D has a leg up button in front of him. Uh, since this is a, a game where there's only one winner, it's not a split pot game, in order to kill, you have to win two hands in a row yes. as opposed to scooping a pot. So. It makes kills a little less likely, but, you know, make up for that by scooping a whole pot <laughs> instead of splitting a pot. So the hands we can see here, we've got Roy. looks like he's got an 8742, and he's got pairs on the diamonds. So he's going to more than likely toss the seven of diamonds and try for a better, uh, he's looking for a, a spade. So he wants a pretty low spade. Looks like what we're seeing here is a queen eight six ace, and that is pairing again on the diamond. So your most likely strategy in that one is to draw on the queen of diamonds. Absolutely. And try for a spade. Eights eights are pretty good draws. I mean they're vulnerable, but they're definitely if you're going to make an eight, but you're not going to 
you're not going to be sad about it. Uh, you know, Ron's drawing the was set. Uh, no, he's not drawing the was seven. He's got two spades there. Yeah, Ron only drew one. I can only think that either it misread or something like that because he does have a king and two spades, unless he just threw the seven. And the one to try for a heart. The one thing you, yeah, and the one thing you pointed out to me too on these draw games is what I wasn't doing, is uh, you have to rescan every one of your cards. I was only rescanning the one. my draw cards, right. so that's pretty much why my cards Wh been read. Which as a human makes total sense. Right. You only need to know about the one new one I got, but as a computer, don't forget the right. computer does not have any idea what of you course. threw away. So see, that's why humans the, still the, run the humans world. knew what you threw away, but the computer didn't. That's know. right. We're still technically a little smarter than computers. Not much longer, though. <laughs> there will come a day. <laughs> well, Jason takes this one down. I don't believe we had a showdown there. No, we didn't have a showdown on this one. But it just goes to show that, you know, a queen can win. And, again, I'm not entirely sure how accurate that was. But even if it was, the fact was you're on third draw and you're able to bet out. And if people didn't pick up what they wanted get a four card Badugi then yeah. they're likely to fold. This is a game <coughs> this is a game where you can you don't necessarily need to make a Badugi to win. Um, you, you just want to notice what you're what everybody else is doing in the hand and you know if they're drawing at the end that they haven't made a Badugi so you know you right. can bet out and if they didn't make it they might fold if they don't have a strong what we call three card Badugi which yeah. is just three suits. And with D, uh, D raises here with eight five yeah. two ace, and that's good because that's a draw one. That's You're gonna, the uh, strategy would be to throw the eight. That's a very good hand, and the plus side of this hand is even if he draws and never makes it, if he still may win with the, the three, three card here. The three card could be good yeah. at the end, possibly. That's a very strong three card five two one. I put in a three bet there, so he's definitely got something worth uh, worth drawing two two, maybe even a four, maybe even a four or five. And he did a draw one. A lot of times when you draw one, it makes sense, especially if you're in late position, to go ahead and raise, yeah. get a little more value in the pot yeah. uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna draw one anyway, because you don't know what people are gonna draw the first draw. Now, he may not raise the next one because two people drew one. Mm -hmm. So now he's got to be concerned that they're stronger than he is. But um, on that initial deal, it's a really good idea. And he does have position, right? So he's not on the button, but I, I believe he pretty much bought the button with that raise. So Oh, I know what hand this is. Now, yeah. Ron here picks up Jack 544. Four. So he's got all the suits, but he has paired the numbers. And in case you don't know, pairing is not good in this mm -hmm. game. It does not count towards a Badugi. Exactly. So Ron technically has a Jack 544 three card Badugi. But he leads out on, uh, after a second draw. And I do remember I did have a very strong three card here. And he here. stands pat yes. here for third draw, which four players paying attention will send off alarm bells and yes. let them know, wait a second, this guy didn't want any cards. If I don't hit my four card, I'm probably sunk. Yeah, 90, I mean, 95% of the time this is a made hand. Um, <laughs> Plus he goes all in for his last chip. Right, and the fact he only had one Which chip sells left. sells it a little bit sells more. Sells it, and I was the last one to it. act, and this is a lesson to learn that you always call when you're getting about 30 to 1. <laughs> no, I, don't, I wasn't having that much, but you always call here. And I was just so, I remember this, I was just so disgusted. I had such a good draw that I didn't miss. I didn't even pay attention to the fact that he only had the one chip left, and I was the last to act, so... 90% of the time I'm going to lose there anyway with my three card, but that's the one time I actually would have won because I believe I had like a, a, a two, four, five or something like that. This is one card. of those uh, interesting times. You know, the, uh, position is very important in poker. And interestingly, in draw games, a lot of times early position is very powerful because of what we just saw right there. You can stand pat on the second draw and lead out 
after third draw, yeah. and you can get people to fold Correct. Um, slightly better hands, like a better three card would have probably folded there. Unless it was like a one, two, three, one, two, four, or something like that. The next hand, of course, Ron gets all face cards. Yes. <laughs> Generic strategy for draw games is draw one or two, try not to draw three. I agree with that. I, I know I, I, I've noticed I've picked up. I don't generally like to play hands where I have to draw two unless. And I'm assuming I have something like a, uh, a combination of uh, one, two, three, four somewhere, you know, either two, four at the worst, mm -hmm. you know, so that, and uh, I'm on the button, so I'm like, okay, I can probably draw two here, but I generally don't think it's a good strategy to draw three unless you may be on the blind and yeah. hey, maybe you got an ace in your hand, you, who knows, but. Yeah, if, you, if you're in the blind, that's a different yeah. thing, but if you had to actually put money in yes. intentionally, try not to draw. Yeah. Try not to draw three, and like I said, two is stretching it. But if you have a one-two or, or a one-three or something like that, it's, it's okay. Now this one's good because Robert gets a uh, a nine-eight-seven ace, and he gets that on first draw. Mm -hmm. So he's got the four-card Vadugi, and he's standing pat. And then we've got Johnny and Sayed who are in, and they have stronger draws. Like, they can make a better hand, but they have to keep drawing for it. Right. Now, actually, uh, yeah, it, it looks like, no, because he's got a pair of fours. He's got all four suits, but again, he's got a pair of fours. So Johnny, unfortunately, pairs up on third draw. And, uh, and then he, he had this in yeah, It looked like a seven. He didn't make a. Okay, yeah. He looks had a like, six, four, two draw. Yeah. He had, he had a six four two, and it looks like we had a slight misread. We ended up with a seven six four two, but with two hearts. Yeah. So had the right suit come out, he would have drawn to better, but because it was a heart, That's it paired up the hearts. Yeah. Roberts in that spot in this game where you're vulnerable, but you have a made hand. You're very vulnerable, but you got a four card. Yeah, TV, and you have so to hang bet. on to and it, and you have to bet it, yeah. and you just have to hope it plays out. But mm -hmm. that's the way. That's just the way to play it. Uh, you know, once you once you start getting resistance, then you know you might be in a little bit of trouble. But Especially when you're still when you still have more than two players on after third draw, right. you you have to bet because right. you've got to get at least one of those players to lay down whatever three card they had. Yes, you know. Um, I mean, he had a good he had a he had an okay four card, but you know, even if someone ended up picking up like a queen four card. If if he's leading out, probably gonna throw that away, you know. So this is uh, Roy. Yeah. This is this is like a disappointing, but you know, still got hope hand for Roy. Right. And you see that yep. one, two, three, five like that. Yeah. But that, but you're you see all the small cards. <laughs> but you're but like, that's great. <laughs> oh, oh, except I, I only have two have suits. Two suits. <laughs> Dad, nab it. Yeah. But I mean, you definitely got some blockers for some other, you know, for 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 other players in the hand. But yeah, very disappointing. Jason's dealt a queen, and he stands pat. Yeah, this this Which is, is an not a bad hand. idea at all because, again, it's difficult to make a four card Badugi. So, I have some thoughts. I, I remember this hand very well, and I have some thoughts on 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 a way I think I could have played this differently to get Jason off this queen. But uh, I'll let the hand play out, and then share my thoughts. But yeah. When you get down the four card Badugi in the beginning, it's always a good idea to stand pat. You, it's very rare to get down the four card. Um, mm -hmm. Let everybody draw and just keep making them pay for their draws. Yep. And then if you get resistance, you know, but uh, on the second draw. Right. And if someone raises yeah. and then they stand and pat in front of you, oop, might yeah. go ahead and toss that queen. Yeah, <laughs> you, know? yeah but you can break the queen yeah. and, and go for it, yeah. which actually leads into what I thought about doing here uh, on the second draw uh, I had like I, I believe I had a five uh, a three card five and uh, I had a three card four okay uh, yeah. I had a very good yeah. draw that's here. a very strong three card and on the second draw I uh, after the hand played out I, I, I was thinking I should have raised Jason here and see if I could make him break that queen uh -huh. and then uh -huh. I, and then yeah. what I would have done is 
is, because he's acting behind you. And and he, since he's behind me, if he, he would have drew, I would have just stayed pat, even yes, with the three card. Because right. that three card is going to hold yeah. most of the time. Yep. Now, the, the other factor is Johnny Rod's in the hand, so he might draw the something, too. Yeah. But I'm curious if that play would have worked. Uh, and, uh, and, of course, Johnny Rod, you know, good number, 6542. But, yeah. dang it, he paired up on the heart, and that's it. So that would have been, a, that would have been a, a path to victory for me, had, had you know, without making my hand. And I thought about that. That would be an interesting. We, we, we had, uh, me and Jason were talking about some different strategies there after the hand has um, how to play those type of hands. That so. one might have worked because Jason's played this enough that he knows in that position he would need to break the queen. Right. And he's yeah. played, and we've played together enough yeah. that he knows that I probably wouldn't raise without the four there. So, and, and, and that goes back to what I'm saying is when you get dealt a four card Badoogie, it can be a wide range of hands. It's not necessarily going to be a six or a seven, which yeah, is exactly. very strong. Yeah, from the deal, you can pretty much stand on just about anything yeah. until, like we are saying, yeah. you start getting raised or they start standing pat, and you're like, oh, okay, yeah. I'm going to have to change my strategy here. Yeah, I just found that hand to be very interesting, hey. uh, uh, which I still do. <laughs> uh, Ron had a draw four, so he's going to wait for next hand. Now Roy again starts with a, a, a nice looking numbers, but he's got to draw two because he's got yep. uh, doubled up suits everywhere, unfortunately. So I raised this hand, so I'm pretty sure I had a pretty strong three card here. I doubt I would raise with anything else. Oh, no, no, no. Now I remember this hand too. I stood pat. You stood pat. I did make. I made a queen okay. on this hand. I, I had this almost the same exact hand as Jason, the, okay. the previous a hand, queen. Yeah. except I had a, a very queen. weak queen. I had like a queen nine eight, which is terrible. Oh, okay, pretty pretty rough. Because you you can't even if you dump the queen and get something better, you're not even sure if you're good because the undercard is a nine. Exactly, it was yeah. very rough, and which is yeah. which is when we see the hand plays out here. John stands pat, and uh, and then bets, and so I did the old. Stand pat, and then fold. <laughs> <laughs> Which you don't see very often, but at that point, I would have had to draw two minimum just to right. be good. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, yep. My strategy didn't work out as well as Jason's on the previous hand, so I just gave it up. <laughs> yep. And Johnny Rod is standing pat here with a very solid 8-7. Yes. So, so 8-7 four card, too. It's not even a strong three card. It's a very strong Yes, four that's card. a very strong four card. Most likely going to take this hand down unless, you know, Saya gets very lucky here. I don't know what he has, but I know he's going to have something pretty good. I believe Sayed ends up with a nine, uh, but uh, I think we see here in a second. Jason actually ends up making a three card, looks like at the end here. Yeah, Jason Sayed. doesn't show. Looks yeah. like Sayed had a Sayed nine. Has a nine. Yeah. Which, you know, as I said, any Badugi is usually good. Yeah. I, a nine, a nine eight in this case, pretty rough because John was showing strength from the beginning. Um, but in a limit game like this, I'm always going to call with the four with, with a four card like that. Just yeah, in case. a nine four card, I would call. Yeah, yeah. Because especially because Johnny stood pat on second draw yeah. or first draw. I, don't yeah. I, I believe. I think he stood pat on first draw because that's why I draw. folded because he stood pat yeah. with me. Okay. Which yeah. I didn't expect since he didn't raise. Yeah. Um, and then and then he stood pat all the way. Yeah. And so then, standing pat on first, you could have a queen or a jack. Yeah. So that's sure. it's very reasonable for Sayed to call with the nine that he gets there on the end. Absolutely. Yeah. So what are we doing? Stud high low now. Is this yeah. This was stud high low. So again, one trick with. Um, the stud games is, as the action tracker, I have to enter the up cards manually on the device, I as well as any of the betting. So a lot of times the action lags behind mm -hmm. on these because I'm trying to get the up cards entered. And then there are the usual reader errors and other things like that. So all the stud games were a little rough as far as reading the hands, but you can see visually a lot of the cards that were out. The nice part about stud is you have the four f or the uh, yeah, three face up cards. So. And even though the action is not correctly tracked, like as far as the bets go, you can see the bets. Yes. And you know it's limit, so you know it's. You can see you hands know. developing. Yeah. 
Uh, stud is a game that I broke in playing many years ago. Uh, it's all you could play in the casinos back in the day. Right. This is before Rounders, the movie came out. Oh, yeah. And Hold'em broke late. We played stud in the casinos. Yep. And so this is why it's still one of my favorite games. Um, and then, of course, high-low stud is um, you're playing for, again, a split-pot game. You're looking mm -hmm. for the best high hand and the best low under right. eight. You need an eight right. minimum qualifier. I see we can, uh, Johnny has buried sixes here, but he also sees a six up on Sayed's board and a six up on Ron's board, so we know he's not going to get a set. He could develop into two pair, but he's he's pretty thin otherwise, so he gets rid of that one. Um, I believe in this hand you had, I think you had buried kings this hand. Yes, and this is, yes, I did. I had buried kings, and mm -hmm. then... Um, this is a perfect example, this hand right here, is why lows in stud eight are so much stronger than in games like Omaha and Congress. Where right, because they can be completely invisible. They can be completely yeah. invisible. Not only that, with, with it being an eight or better, you have a lot of combinations that are going to make straights mm -hmm. and yeah. will, that are very scoopable hands. And Ron, Ron ends up scooping uh, with the three, four, five, straight. six, seven. Yep. So it's the, a very strong two-way hand. The one card we don't see uh, on Ron's down card is the seven, so right. he does make the seven straight. And, and it was very hidden, so I knew he was on the low draw, and I didn't see anything on Syed's board that concerned me. And uh, on seven straight, I picked up another three, so I had kings up there. So I kings figured up, my kings right. up would be yeah. good. But again, when you're playing lows, yep. you have a lot of a lot of combinations where you can make straights, and Ron had a very nice hand there. And Ron could have easily had seven five four three two. Very easily. And not had the straight. Very easily. You know? I, I wasn't and really. And it still would have been really strong. Yeah. On the low end. And so. that's what's beautiful, mm -hmm. especially in, in a game like stud where you can see a lot of face up cards. If you have that only low out there, and you and you're up against two players that you pretty much can guarantee you're going high only, you can build yourself some nice pots that way. Which is again very different. With and if Omaha. he doesn't have a straight, your two pair is completely disguised because right. you had buried kings and your three that paired uh, was down also. Everything, so everything was disguised. Everything you had showing was just blop. Yep. You know, looked like nothing. So Roy's got split queens here. Jason's got split fours. Johnny's got a very nice low. With yeah, he's got a nice low and a flush draw. With the flush draw. Which is pretty good for 5th Street. Yeah, I'll take it all day. Yeah, that's right. Roy picked up the flush draw to go with his pair of queens. Yeah, so Roy's got the pair of queens, but kind of bricked out on everything else. Yeah. He doesn't really go high or low. He does have the pair of queens, though. That could be good. And, and, yeah, and in a way, Johnny's not showing a whole lot. I was going to say, in a way, Johnny Rod also bricked out just because mm -hmm. a lot of his high combinations are no longer no good because yeah. any, any spade would have been nice or a seven or a three, giving him nice combinations. But Looks like he did end up with a pair of sixes, so unfortunately also no low because he paired up the one card. And doesn't really give him much of a high either. Now, Roy had split uh, queen, so he didn't know that he was beat until showdown, but. Looks like we got a little triple draw. Deuce to seven. Yep, changing games. Back over again to a, uh, a five card game. So, like earlier, we're going to have a little trouble reading some of the hands, but uh, the ones I picked to showcase here. You know, by the time we get to showdown, we're able to see what wins at least. Perfect. And again, deuce to seven. Obviously, you want to make the lowest possible hand without making a straight or a flush. There you go. So the, the old seven, five, four, three deuce is the nuts, or the, or the wheel as we call it. The deuce to seven wheel. <laughs> and Robert raises with the with a pretty good ten here, which is actually not a bad, pretty solid. It's pretty solid mm -hmm. to start with. This yeah, I mean the one thing you don't want to see is this as a four, but other than a four, you know an eight or a seven, and you got very solid hand. In fact, uh, in single draw you would definitely stand on the ten yes. as it is. Um, in triple draw though, you probably pitch the ten to try to improve. I agree. 
That's, that's a good analysis there. But it's a draw one, so draw ones are strong. Jason has the mystery hand and stands pat. Which is never good for your 10. That's right. <laughs> now, now you're definitely pitching the 10. Yep. If you were thinking about keeping it before, you definitely pitch it with someone uh, standing pat in front of you. And he leads out. And he leads out, so he likes his hand for sure. Robert's still calling because he's still drawing one, and he's got two more draws to improve on the king that he whiffed on. Absolutely. On the first draw here. Yeah, you definitely don't ever want to fold the one bet mm -hmm. with, with that draw. <laughs> Look like did we get a raise here. Oh no, it just called. And of course, Jason stands pat. Robert's going to draw one. Johnny's still going to draw two. Don't know his hand either. Say it also drew one. So we've got something fairly strong. Might be drawing to a seven, maybe an eight. I would tend to agree with that. I would say Jason. He might even have. He might have something as strong as a made eight here, but typically a nine. Yeah, especially since it's from the deal. Yeah. I don't think. Well, he, I mean, sometimes even a ten, but I don't think so. I would say I would say a minimum a nine here, and then. Uh, and then, as I said, with other players drawing, you can continue the bet as long as they keep drawing. And it looks like Jason's going to stand pat one last time. Both his opponents are still going to draw. Robert, unfortunately, Robert got worse. Bricked and bricked and bricked. He'd have been better off if he'd stayed with the 10. And that is it. That is he, the frustrating part. He gives a little chuckle. Part. He goes, how did that queen get there? Yeah. Dag nabbit. This is what, this is Three what draws can make these and it games got worse. so frustrating mm -hmm. when, you're when you're drawing to a hand that good yeah. and just brick. That's when, you, that's when you lose money in these games. But not much you can do about it. You're just drawing. Now, see, that does end up calling here, and I believe we do end up seeing both hands here in just a moment. Jason does, looks like a 9-7. No, nine no, say it does, uh, does muck there. But, yeah, we see Jason had a 9-7 from the start. So, just speculating for Syed to call there, he could have had a 9-8. 9-8. Nine 9-8 eight. Nine is very likely. Yeah. Because yeah. he probably wouldn't have called with a 10. Yeah, I agree with you there. And knowing the type of player Syed is, he won't call. He don't usually call very light. So, I don't think he had like a 9-8. Let's see, Hammer gives him the leg up. Hammer dealing, uh, otherwise Doug. Uh, also a fixture in these games when he has the time to play. Always enjoy giving Doug a hard time. Very good dealer, very good person. Enjoy, as is all the staff here. Now we kind of got the camera on the other part of the table. Uh, we talked about Ron, who's in the middle, with the uh, uh, Longhorn hat on. Robert here is uh, also one of our dealers, uh, recently came from Vegas, good mixed game player. D is a regular in our mixed games. He really likes limited mixed game, and he comes out for a lot of our mixed games. I believe he's from Austin. I, think that's I right. don't know for sure, actually, but I see, you know, see D quite a bit. I know he's got a, a little bit longer drive than, than normal. And then Johnny Rudd was there in the last seat, a, a staple in our Omaha and mixed game. Absolutely. And again, there's Robert with the 10. <laughs> Two yeah, hands in a row yeah. with, a, with a decent. Robert's got a, a decent 10. Yeah. And in and, and single draw, you would just stand on that. Yep. You wouldn't even draw. But... Uh, here, you're probably going to draw you wanna, uh, at the, least one. The you, you could draw two, but probably at least one. Right. I like the raise because you want to you wanna isolate. Mm -hmm. You know, you like to see as many hands as possible, so maybe your 10 would be good in those situations. But, mm -hmm. yeah, when, when four players stay, yeah. then you probably want to pitch 10. 8-7 is going to be good a lot of the time. Yeah. But it's, it doesn't hurt too much to try to draw better than a 10. So. Especially on, you know, you're, you're still at the beginning. You're just unlucky if you pick up uh, three face cards like he did this this last hand. Yeah, and then, but another frustrating thing about this game is 
you'll also pair up a lot. You'll get that yes. low card, but in the, like in Robert's case, he might pick up a deuce, and <laughs> that does you no good either. So, but that's the interesting dynamic to this game. Okay. <laughs> where are, we, are we still? Are we on the second draw here? Yeah, I think it was second draw, and uh, I had to do a little shuffle to get the rest of Ron's draw in. And there you go. There's a nice, nice pickup for Robert. Robert slipped in the four, I believe. I'm trying to remember what he had before, but I, I think believe that's it was the four. Mm -hmm. Could have been the five. I don't remember exactly. Eight seven five four two. You know, not the number one strongest hand, but it's. Pretty, pretty you're gonna, tough to beat. You're going to play it to the end, that's for mm -hmm. sure. You're going to lead out if it checks to you. You may, you might even throw a raise in there, just depending. But I would definitely, you know, yeah, never be, never be folding column. in. I, and I would yeah. be, and, I, and I'm patting this hand. Yeah. For sure. And Johnny Rod stands pat too. I mean, you have to consider that the the only thing you can draw to is hoping that you get a three. Right. That's it. Nothing else is right. good. <laughs> so Robert says on the it looks like a nine there for John. Robert, so Robert's going to take it down. Yep. Looks like I didn't have Johnny's hand, so I took just a second to uh, enter in the hand. So we can at least get it on the screen towards the end. Nine eight seven. Yep. Four three. Nine eight seven can be good against a pat from first draw. Right. Because a lot of times pat from first draw, you might be playing a nine eight. Now 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 Johnny Rod is nine eight seven. Uh, but you could see someone patting a nine eight six. So it's a possibility that you could uh, be good there. Possible, and in a game like this, when we're, when we're especially when we're not playing the kill section, yeah, you, you, worth a call. Take it, take a look. But yeah, more often than not, you're probably not going to be good there, though, against a pat, against a, a pat off the first draw. Huh. All right. Let's see, we're still at deuce to seven, triple draw. Jason didn't like his hand at all. Must have been one of those draw fours. Yeah, it looked like he had a chip in front of him, so he must have been in a blind. It must be a raised pot, or uh, might have been a kill. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. That, that's possible. Oh, I raised. So I must like my hand. I don't remember what I have here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'll remember by the end. De uh, defaults. Ron calls. Always got to be concerned when Ron calls because he plays very solid. Yeah, despite the fact that we're we're showing off in this uh, series of clips two times when he bluffed in a draw game, he uh, <laughs> he normally does play solid in draw games. So, which is why his bluffs got through really. And and Roy you called too. As again, yeah. okay, I, got, I actually confused Ron and Roy. I meant Roy. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah the, well, solid. the other thing is Roy. Uh, you know, Roy is very selective about the hands he plays. Very selective. So, yeah. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't uh, splash around. So I know when he comes yeah. in. And there you go. There you go. We got a very solid uh, draw one. Well, this is interesting. Seven six five four. This you know, is it's, it's a rough seven, but yeah. The problem with this seven is. You can't draw an eight. You can't draw an eight. You can't draw. You can't a three. draw a three. So you're really you're just really drawing a deuce. Only looking for a deuce. Yeah, because yeah, a nine even isn't going to be very good here, but most of the time. Most of the time. Yeah. You know, so that's the one problem with this hand. But of course, anytime you see that seven, it's mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like we're going to take a shot. As they say in deuce to seven basic strategy, you want to build from the bottom. So you want to start with the two, three, four, two, three, five, yeah. two, four, five, something like that, and build up from there. Um, this is the rougher way to start. It's not like it's a bad start because it's still a draw one. But if you get anything but the deuce, you're really, yes. you know, you're going to be uh, folding. And that's, yeah. That, he that's he got the, the only card worse than the king, the ace. The ace. <laughs> ace bad in this game. Yeah. 
different type of game, that would be a beautiful card. But no, Jersey John game. ended up uh, getting a good hand oh, here on like second draw. Nice He's going to be happy with that. Nice little natural eight. He drew one to that. I mean, you drew one to that, so yeah. that means you probably started with uh, king, five, four, three, two, or something like that. Pulled the eight. I believe on this hand, I did not start with the two, three, four, five. I think it was an eight blank. I think I drew the deuce, if I remember this correctly. Okay. So it was eight, five, four, three. You know, obviously higher than an eight, yeah. probably like a ten or a jack. And I remember drawing the deuce because I couldn't remember if I actually had the deuce in my hand or not. So I yeah. was very happy to find out I did not pair that deuce. <laughs> you got the deuce that Roy wanted. Yes. You know, and if Roy gets the deuce, of course, yes, he's going to have a surprise for you at the river. He sure will. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is a very good hand. And uh, the eight fives, uh, it's well, it's the best eight you can have. Yeah. So. Best day, and there's only a couple sevens that can beat you. So, the sevens are very hard to make in this game. But. And I believe we see here Ron showed down with eight seven six. Yeah, which isn't which, which is just behind which the eight is five. Which I mean, is a pretty standard yeah. call there. You're going to call with yeah. that. You're talking about something like uh, I don't have the exact math figured out, but I believe eight five is something like the sixth nut hand or something like that. So eight seven six is something like yeah, you know eight or ten. Something like that. So you're still in the the good hand section. Looks like we changed games here to Omaha eight or better. This is a stable game that uh, before the COVID issue uh, would run three days a week, yes. open to close. Yes, we played just strictly high low. Mm -hmm. So I, I wanted to include it in the mix game, partially because it's just not being played as much as it used to be. Right. But also because everyone that was doing these mix games here, they, they know the game well. Yes. So they would be very yeah, well versed in it. Every one of us it. would play this game, too. Yeah. Before we started going full mix, yeah, we would yeah. all of us here would play this, play this game. So, oh, I remember this hand very well. Yeah. So Johnny, of course, has a low draw, but he's only got one low card on the flop. He's going to go all the way. Uh, now he picks up a flush draw. Spoiler alert, I have ace, queen, king, jack here. I'm double suited oh, that's with the right. hearts. And, um, and actually, I'm speaking of which, I think that leads us to conclude that Johnny's yes. hand is probably not read correctly. Yeah, there has yes. to be something wrong here because, yeah, yes, I am absolutely disgusted by this river. Right. <laughs> Because yeah. I'm 100% sure that I went from the nuts and with the nut redraw to a yeah. to a chop. Because and for uh, some reason Johnny bets there, and there's no reason for him to bet because yes. he, based on the card shown, there's no reason for him to bet. Now, obviously, if there's a read error and he doesn't have exactly that, then it makes more sense. We think we're speculating he had a set of queens. Yeah, um, it's either that or the the king high straight, which or know. the king high straight. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Robert, Robert yeah, if he was had, giving me. If three. he had Jack and a copy like Jack 9, then, then that gives him the uh, uh, King High Street. Yeah, I was very surprised we did not chop this pot. It was just why I did not raise on the end yeah. because I was 1,000% sure we were chopping. And Ro Robert's just needling me saying, well, you at least chopped. And I'm like, you don't even understand this right. hand right now. You don't know how big this uh, was. So. The, the nut everything. Yes. Draw. But yeah. I did end up killing it, so. I ended up being happy, but <laughs> that moment for them when that when that uh, when that non-suit king hit, I was have a good laugh about it. <laughs> so I put another raise in here. Looks like my hand again. You can turn around and talk to me, so <laughs> that's definitely a sign you like your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert, I've identified a tell for you. <laughs> oh. oh, wait a minute. Maybe oh, you I folded? Didn't raise. Oh, Maybe you I didn't. didn't raise. Must not have been a raise. Yeah, maybe we just caught that wrong. Cause oh, okay. I don't think I'm ever raising and folding pre-flop. You know, I would at least call. So that makes. Now, see, here we have Johnny lead out here, which a lot of times in these cases, Johnny's going to have a really strong low draw, like a 5-2 right. in this kind of spot. 
Are you, I mean, he could have two, three also. He's probably also going to have at least a pair of aces or jacks. Yes. Some combinations he might even have a baby flush with with a with the low draw. Mm -hmm. So. We also got a little glimpse of Ron's hand uh, as he was holding it up. The camera could see it. He's got a pretty strong hand right now. And, of course, no low ends up being available. But Ron ends up, he has three of the aces, and Johnny's disappointed because he only has the one ace. I'm guessing he did have a... Yeah, there it is. It pops up. Yeah, so he had a decent low draw. Uh, it didn't pan out. 3-6 <coughs> is not bad, especially when your head's up. But Ron with a set of aces and no low comes out. No clubs That's on that be good. for anybody. I'm a little uh, surprised by that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's unusual when top set is actually still good at the end uh, for Omaha. There yeah. were straights out there. Especially on a board like that, them. right? Yeah. On a board like that, that was very draw heavy. Yeah. Uh, Ron wakes up with another pretty good hand here. Ace deuce, five queen, I'll take it, double suited for sure. A lot of possibilities. D's got the old hammer lock on ace two, three, four. So he's going to smash any board with lows on it. That's always a nice one to wake And he's up got to. a suited ace too, which is useful if the spades come out. That's not a bad flop for D. I mean, he yeah. didn't. D flops two pair and a nut low. A two pair nut low with backdoor spades. So he's got all kinds of possibilities here. Mm -hmm. And of course, he leads out. And John raised with this straight draw, it looks like. Right? Yeah. Got a three bet from D. Yeah, sure. I would too. Effectively has a made hand. These are the kind of hands you can pop. Yeah, I mean, that that's just a beautiful yeah. turn for D. Now he locks in the uh, nut flush draw as well as everything else. And then you got the bets into you. Uh, yeah, and Ron is going to go ahead and bet out with the um, two pair, I believe, queen queen two. Oh, D, D only called there. I think I would have. Well, maybe, you know, a strategy in limit two is to just call so you don't lose your customers. So you had a very strong hand there. Well, in the end here, you know, the best hand ends up being Queen Duck. And, of course, D still has the nut low, so. So, Robert puts in the raise. Robert raises. He's got two pair also, seven deuce. And as low isn't bad. You know, that's 51. an interesting play there, and I actually can see what he was doing. Yeah, but he does get chopped up. Yeah, I mean... More often than not, that'll work out. Mm -hmm. what, because there's no straight. I can see the strategy there yeah. because he has the peanut low, which is the second low, right? right. Correct. And if you raise there, you could, you know, if Ron isn't last to act there, he might fold that queen deuce. You know, but since he's last to act, I guess, he, you know, you can call it. But the queen deuce isn't really a strong two pair in this. Not you know. super strong, but it was pretty, you know, it was top and bottom. Right, right. Yeah. But 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 um, you can sometimes get folds out of those type of hands if he's, if, if, if him and D were to be in opposite seats there, you know, Ron might consider folding there. Yeah. Because then next thing you know, it's three and four bet to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when he's closing the action, he can make that call with the pot odds. And... and so I kind of like that play by Robert. It just didn't work out for him. There's a decent chance that his two pair was good, too. Yeah, that's true. And with the peanut low, you figure you're going to get at least something there. And then maybe you fold, get a higher two pair to fold out, and you end up scooping. So, so yeah. It can work. There's a lot, there was a lot of uh, uh, justification in that raise to try to scoop that pot, and it just didn't work out. This was an interesting one that, we got a lot of hands read correctly, um, but no one liked their hand and they folded. So, isn't that always the case? Yeah, it's just kind of doesn't happen that often pre-flop, but it happens occasionally. So now we're at Raz. We're at Raz. So uh, if you're not familiar, this is like seven stud that we did earlier, but in this case it's a low ball only. So we're not looking at a high low split. We're looking at a low ball only takes the pot. So you're looking for the worst possible hand. It's not like deuce to seven. Uh, straights are fine. Flushes are fine. They're not going to count against your hand. 
but you are looking for the worst. You're just looking for the five lowest cards mm -hmm. possible. I mean, ace plays low in this game ace as opposed to this game. high induced to seven. Yep. So. so you want ace, two, three, four, five, you want nut. You want that wheel, and that's your best hand. Oh. So it starts off pretty strong with a six and a four, and then two down cards you can't see. Well, he's got four, two, and a three down. That's a good strong starter. He's got one junk card. Robert's not too bad off with a 10 8 ace 5. No, it's, it, it's manageable. Especially considering what everyone else is showing. And then, yeah, when you're playing these boards, I mean, your hand becomes a little stronger because mm -hmm. you see the pairs out there. Sayed pairs up. Roy pairs up. Sayed's strong enough to continue. And yes. Jason also folds. So, in this game, when you see pairs continue, you have to assume that obviously they've got, you know, Hands like three yeah. deuce down there, three five, ace five. So not only continue, but he leads out betting. Yeah, so he liked that eight for sure. So he probably made his hand with that eight. Robert picks up a banana. That doesn't help much. Yeah, he's got four Broadway cards, even though one of them plays low. <laughs> he's playing a ten, and he knows that he's uh, it's going to be very difficult to win against the pair that was betting out into him. He was drawn to the eight, I believe, on the, on the seven. I believe Syed ended up with, with a, an eight. Seven. Yeah, he's got an eight, seven, six yeah, there. Eight, seven, six. So yeah, he made that, he made that eight on the, uh, on, on the fifth. So Syed ends up winning the Raz hand with trip sixes. That's crazy. <laughs> the other cards were good enough. That's pretty crazy to have all those low cards and <laughs> trips yeah. and still be good. But hey, eight's a strong hand. It may have been a nine, but it still beats. Uh, I think Robert had a ten at best, or yeah. maybe it was a jack. Because he kept pulling, pulling face cards, unfortunately. Split eights, not exactly what you want. I don't think I have split eights, though, because uh, you're reading oh, two Oh, they're both of two eight of diamonds. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, I know that's a misread, obviously. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think, I don't think I'm calling with an ace or an eight, eight, three there. But who knows? Sometimes I play weird. Who knows? But I pick up a seven, so I'm pretty sure I like my hand here. I believe the three, though. That's, that seems likely. There you go. Let's see, Robert, I s could see from the overhead. Yeah, he's got queen jack and a pair of fives. I'm going to, yeah, and it looks like. Uh, I think on this one I had trouble uh, getting the uh, card entry, yeah. but. looks like Roy has a pair of sixes, so I'm like in my hand even though. E it doesn't even really matter what I have down below because I'm reading the board there, and it looks right. like they both folded. Yeah, so. plus you, you can see that you're up against, you know, a nine and a yeah. six, and, you know, you, you look better just because of what you have showing. Yeah. What they are showing. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, if you can, if you know, if they're pairing up or they're hitting Broadway cards, and your board looks good, that's enough to take the hand down. All right, so we're back around to Congress. We're at the top of the rotation again. And Ron almost has a flush in his hand, which would be good. Would good you, in would Dramaha. Dram would Dramaha pick up in this game? I'm surprised we didn't play that. No, that well, okay, that. it has no way to, like, it has draw games logic and it has board game logic, but it doesn't have a combination. Right. You can't have a community board game that you also do draws with. That's what it doesn't have. But if you're watching this and you're interested in playing in our mixed games, Dramaha's a big game. Dramaha's very popular. It's a, all different versions of it, mm -hmm. too. Dramaha, Dramaha 49, Dramaha 0. We like our Dramaha here. Now, Sayed picks up a pretty good hand here. He's got the uh, nut flush draw, and he's got a uh, pretty decent rep on Broadway. He needs a, he's got a lot of the pairs. He's got uh, top two, and he yeah. needs a 10 for Broadway. I, yeah, he's got a very good hand. What am I calling with? <laughs> oh, just a peanut and, mm -hmm. a, and, a, wheel and a wheel draw, gut shot wheel draw. Yeah, I mean, you got some low possibilities there. You know, you can get a, a deuce of the wheel and... E e three five six can make some good combinations for lows if the right low card comes out. Yeah, well, that's. I mean, even like an eight, and you get a decent low. It's not the nuts, but it's pretty okay. Jason, Jason called. Yeah, 
Syed's got this one locked up. He's just hoping a low card doesn't come on the river so he can scoop it. And I'm calling. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna claim a misread of my cards here because why am I calling? <laughs> uh, my hand's pretty trash, but. And Sayed gets what so he wants. He gets the 10. Sayed only has the absolute everything on here. Yeah. He's got the nut everything. Yeah. Oh, I remember this. And then, yes, the this is beautiful. Nut two pair, nut flush draw, nut boat, and Broadway just for fun. Yeah, yeah. And th Oh, yeah, and then everyone folds at the end, and he shows the pairs of jacks. He shows right. a pair of jacks. Pair of jacks. And the first thing yeah. I said to him was, okay, with the ace king, correct? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, made a, I made a side bet, which I won't. Repeat here, but yeah, uh, you just you, you, you just <laughs> forgot the queen was also included in that, just in case, just in case yeah, the board didn't yeah. bear. He also had Broadway. Uh, but I did tell him that yeah. if he did if he did not have Ace King Jack Jack there for sure that uh, yeah. <laughs> so I was glad hand. to confirm. I was hand. glad to confirm that I was correct there because yeah. uh, I wouldn't want to do what I said I would do. <laughs> He's got a nice hand here. Yeah, it's a nice hand with uh, single suited aces and another pair to go with it. The low draw is not super great, but at least you do have the aces. And the queen helps a little bit on the high end. It's always nice to look at aces until the flop in this game. But you always want to be suited and you at least want to have connections with the Broadway. So You do have the club suited as well on uh, the queen. Though. Yeah. <laughs> and that is an interesting flop. That's not actually too bad for DC because he now has the second nut low. And he's got And he's got a nut flush draw. Nut flush draw. So as long as nobody has the ace deuce here, he's gold. And but interestingly he checks. I would probably have bet that just to find out where I was at. Right. Uh, you know, get an ace deuce to raise hopefully. And then yeah, you're okay. You, now you I know see where I'm at. I see what I gotta draw. Yeah. And then if if I'm just getting calls there, I might like my ace six as the low with my redraw possibilities. And I let out on the turn, so I have something. I don't think I have ace deuce though, because I don't think I would have checked on the. And then the eight shows up. And unfortunately, nothing shows up uh, on the high end, other than aces. Oh, yeah, I took this bound with the 5-3. I took the high. I think D could have got me off this hand had he played that a little more aggressively because I wouldn't call it with the 5-3 there. So D's low ended up being good. Yeah. And then the 5-3, two pair, ends up being good for the high. Yeah. I do understand his concern about the ace-deuce there because it's a popular holding. Yeah. But if he, I bet if he would have let out on that flop, I don't think I'm continuing with the 5-3, not on that board. So, hey, Johnny was double I'll gutted and had a decent enough low. Actually, uh, uh, D and Johnny split the low because they both had 61. Yeah, so I actually yeah. made out on that hand. Yeah, how about that? You got a whole half. <laughs> I got a whole half, and they had to chop him. <laughs> Not often you see that on that board with the old 5 3. Right? I was yeah, kind of surprised you know, myself to take. It's so likely that someone's going to have a straight. You're going to have a straight. You, you know, you know 26, ace, deuce, ace, deuce. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. Of course, the 26, the 67. So, yeah, I was very shocked. Right on to the next hand. Maybe that's not. All right, Robert checks his option with uh, kings. Yeah. Double suited kings. Not too bad, but not as strong as you'd think. I was going to say this doesn't. It is not one of my favorite holdings here because no low draw. Mm -hmm. You're not. You're not. You're not nutted up on the clubs. So it's like it's. It's not like hold'em where kings are a monster. This, in yeah. this game, it's a little more. Yep. And you notice that he right. folds to one bet. Folds right away. Yep. Because, because he, that's a terrible flop for yeah. his kings. Well, yeah, <laughs> definitely, especially since there were no black cards at yep. all, and he had both black yep. suits covered. So, yep. yeah, so. that makes it rough. 
And if you're a strictly a hold'em player, you're like, what are you folding kings there for? But in this game, that's that's a that's a no-brainer fold. Yep, that's so true. <laughs> we got a very interesting hand here. It looks like we're already up to three bets, kind of maybe three four. Bet. Three bets. Three side, bets. Side releases. Sad aside, it's not worth continuing for three bets. Roy calls, so I know he's Roy got calls, a hand. Though. Roy, like I said, Roy plays pretty tight, and he plays hands, so. He's not going to splash around. So at minimum, he's got a seven here, maybe a boat. All right, looks like or, we got. Or the nut low. <laughs> <laughs> yep, picks up the nut low on the turn. And J-Rod had the ace full. And actually, he had ace four or ace deuce to start with. So yeah. he, he already had a nut low from the flop. He had one, two, three, four. Yeah, and it so. looks like we had a set over here. So that makes for sense. For the other half. Both those hands make yeah. total sense. <laughs> Yeah, Johnny just flopped it. He just flopped it right off the get-go. And getting back to why you fold the kings yep. there. <laughs> Ace full is going to be good. Yep. And Robert knew that, you know, the kings were only going to be good if a king showed up somewhere yep. in the later street. Absolutely. That was the only chance for that hand. And Maybe maybe if it checks around and then yeah, exactly. checks again on the, on the yeah. turn, your, your kings are probably good, yeah. but... You know, once you see action in front of you, it's, they're trash. Unless you bink that king on the turn. Sometimes it's the way you make money in this game is by folding correctly. I have learned and that. not chasing those $5 bet, $10 that bet, $10 bet. That's you, 25 bucks he saved. You make minimum. an excellent point. I have done yeah. much better in these games, mm -hmm. me personally, by folding more. Yeah. But he's got another strong He's got holding. a very pretty starter, especially for the high only part of it. Obviously, he's got no way to go low. Yes. Yeah, but still. Unfortunately, the flop didn't yeah, do the anything flop, for the him. Yeah, the flop stinks for that hand, yeah. but... What a, I mean, it's a pretty, a pretty looking hand. And now with the two tens out there. Robert plays a straight draw, but then has to abandon with the board pairs because yeah. why chase your straight when the board pairs and you, someone's got a boat? Yeah, you know it. Most often, especially when they're betting, you know they. At minimum, they have, and there it is. Side so has tens full of aces. Yeah, tens full of aces there. And then I believe Johnny had a low here, 63. He, he had the he had the other 10, and so his emergency low saved him there. Yeah. You know, sometimes that works too. <laughs> he would have been out kicked on the 10 anyway, but uh, right. the ace just kind of made it a little bit better. But you know, in this the, game, you know, yeah. you know, usually, like with a hand like J Rod there, he yeah. knows that he probably that 10 won't hold up by itself, but you still have cards that can fill you up. So. Right. Well, and he had the seven six three, yeah. so that's a straight exactly. wrap on exactly. the fifty four. So there you go. And and then when the board pairs, now you've got one of the last tens. There's a chance one of your cards comes on the river and you boat up. So you've got to yep. see it through. And even if it doesn't, you know, sides only making it one bet. So all you got to do is call. You, yeah, you always, you have Just enough to see if your tens are good. You have enough there yeah. to call to see if the tens good. You and got then, plenty of showdown. Value. And in that case, his emergency low is probably going to be decent there too. If Syed's got the bait, boat because the ace counterfeits. As a matter of fact, I think Syed had the ace deuce there, so it counterfeited his right. ace deuce. Counterfeits the ace deuce. Yeah. Well, D waking up with another ace two three holding. king queen, and you've got suited on the ace. You got clubs too, but that's you can't really count on that. And there we go. He flops Broadway flops right away with the club redraw. But yeah, the, yeah. that these three of clubs you isn't count on that club redraw. But yeah, but they're it is blockers. nice to have it anyway. Yeah, yeah. exactly. They're <laughs> blockers to having more clubs coming out. And John's uh, uh, flopped the low end straight, which gets you in trouble in this game. Mm -hmm. And. Johnny Rudd has uh, king nine, so he's got the lower straight. And I called here, so uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe I also had the ace king here. But I don't love my hand because of the clubs. And right, you, you probably didn't have a redraw. And I had no right? redraw, yeah. exactly right. So in cases like this, I'm just going to just basically play it safe. 
because there's so much that can hurt me here. And there's the club. Yep. The club right. comes out. So Dan, I believe, ends up winning with the flush. Yeah, I think he has the only Oddly flush. Enough, cause I'm, I, I don't think anyone else had clubs. I'm almost positive I had no club blocker. Now, I would like my hand a little more if my ace king included the ace of clubs. Then I'd feel a little better about my hand because, you know, flush draws may not chase with me holding that nut blocker. But, yeah, I remember telling D I had two pair as well. So I did have like yeah. an ace king 10 5 combo or something. Which, you know, I'm not thrilled with my two pair there, obviously, either. If the five hits, I'm still not happy because right, pocket right. queens, pocket jacks. But, uh, yeah. And that's why I don't overplay that. You hear what, you know, what they say about flop straights in Omaha. That's how oh. you go broke. Worst hand in <laughs> Omaha. That's what I call it. Uh -huh. The worst hand in Omaha, the flop straight. The flop nut straight the flop is the worst, straight, the worst hand in Omaha. Yeah. Which is so funny, you know, because Hold'em players would kill to flop a straight. Oh, of course. <laughs> but so. Oma in Omaha, it's a curse. <laughs> Nothing but a curse. Uh, we're back over to Badoogie. Kind of wrapping up the end. This is the last uh, game that we play. Um, once we get to the end of this orbit, the uh, stream is done. I have to say, Straight Badoogie is probably one of my favorite games. Now, I don't call it a lot because, you know, in these games, in the limit games, yeah, they don't build as big in pots. And so, you know, you like playing the, the split pot games are actually build some big pots because. Yeah. But uh, I think overall, Badoogie is one of my favorite games. Yeah, it's good. I get, I've get. i gotten used to playing like the Badesis and Badusis and the, the combo games yeah. where, you're com where you've got five cards and you're combining Badoogie, a four-card game, in with a f another five-card game. And it's interesting because a lot of times you end up drawing for a better Badoogie, like holding a four-card and then drawing your fifth card to try to improve one of the suits. And, you know, and then also somewhere in there you're also improving the low of or hoping to prove the low uh, for the other half of the pot. So it's it's really interesting because in in this version, since you only have four cards, if you if you have a four card Badugi and you break it to draw one, you might end up with a three card. Yes. You know, you might not have a four card at the end. Yeah, because it's very it's, like I said before, yeah. it's very hard to make a four card. Yeah. It doesn't in the games like Badesi and and, and Badusi, those are five card games, so it's yeah. a little easier to make that four card. But in this game not that easy. It, yeah. When I'm playing Omaha, it seems like I make a Badoogie every hand. But <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but when I'm playing Badoogie, it's a lot lot tougher. And uh, what do we got? This, this D's got. Johnny's got a pretty good draw here with a 5-4 ace-ace. And D's isn't bad either. He's drawn to a 6. You know, it, it's, not, it's always good when you can throw an ace out because you know your opponents yes. don't have that ace. You're blocking, yes. Yeah. Especially if you're at third draw. Because uh, sometimes you do have to shuffle, and so your ace goes back in. But on third draw, you're usually pretty safe. Right. Ron's actually pretty good here, six six three two. Yeah, we got some good hands here for right. sure. We'll see. Let's see who makes. Eight six four one is the toughest draw, but then again, drawing to a six is not terrible. Yeah, you, you, you I'll take it. I'll take a six draw all day. You know, uh, definitely. Let's see. Oh, we don't know what Jason has. So I bet he wins since we don't know who he <laughs> I don't remember this hand, so no spoilers. Uh, Ron missed. Yeah, Ron ended up pairing the spades, but... It looks like he got a bet in the fold. Nobody else had what they liked, so he bet out again. And he shows. And that's not a and that's not a bad bet at all. I it's would bet bad. when everybody's drawing and I got a pretty decent three card, I'm going to bet and represent it. And and even if it's well, he had the six. But well, what's great on the table is I think D said, uh, did, "Did you bluff us again?" And he's like, "Well, kind of, you know, because <laughs> before he had bluffed with a pair of fours, and now he uh, bluffed with a pair of spades, so yeah. it was a little different." Yeah, that one. But. That was a good bluff, though. That's a that's that's just a very good play by by Ron there. Because if he does check that down, then that six that three card six may not be good. So. Yeah, that's true. 
even in limit, sometimes you have to bet to win. Yes. You got to bet. You got so you're betting that they didn't make their hand. That's that's the key, and knowing when to make those bets. And you got to know who you're playing against too, you know, because because these guys uh, we play three days a week, and it's often the same crowd. You know, we kind of know what people are going to showdown with. We kind of know what you're going to arrive I mean, if you drew one or stood that or all that. You kind of know what's coming up, and if you're not hitting, if you're not catching that four card, you're going to be letting it go in that last bet. You're going to save that ten bucks. Yeah. Um, if you have a newer player sit down that's not familiar or, oh, it's the first time I'm playing Badoo, yeah, I don't know what's going on, they're going to call you down because they don't really know to not call. Right. So you've got to know that in that case, you might as well check it down, yes. save the money, and maybe your three card's good. That's exactly right. Because sometimes they'll accidentally call you with the best hand because yeah, because exactly. they just didn't know just, that they should have filled them. Yeah. So I, I don't think I would call it a king four. Yeah, I don't think my card's red on the second draw because I don't see me calling with a king four deuce deuce here. But I did draw two, so maybe. That, maybe that's what you picked up on the draw, though. Maybe you maybe you stood on uh, four deuce and drew king deuce. So I remember this hand very well now, because with me raising here, I think Jason pops me back. He does, and we both have pretty big hands here. And I, I think we both drew and we both made our hands here on the second draw. Yeah, I have a feeling that this was a case where it didn't read when you did the draw. Yeah. And I think this is probably what you started This with. is that hand. And me and Jason have played yeah. together so much. We both knew we had big hands. We get a correction here because yeah. we turn all the Look cards at that. up. Yeah, so. we both have a made six. And yeah. this is obviously the nut six. Um, He's got six smooth and you got 65. Yeah. yeah. Which are both very strong. Very hands. strong. Very strong. And, uh, yeah, on the, on the turn, on, on just... Um, on, on the second draw, we both knew we had, but just from playing each other, we both knew we had very big hands. And I think Jason even was a little weary. Oh, I might have a five because what am I raising with? And, sure. and I know right. that for a fact that he was super strong. So yeah. he's like, he goes, I'll do what you want to do. And so we just checked it down because in the back of our minds, we both knew we might not be good, right. even though we had strong right. hands. <laughs> super strong hand. But after it goes four bet, yeah. uh, before third draw, it's a little like, what? You yeah. Know? What could he have? Yeah. What did they have? As could I be beat here, you know? As a matter of fact, I told Jason after the hand, I said, if you bet that hand, I was only calling, even though my hand was very yeah. strong. I said, because I knew for a fact that if I did have you beat, it wasn't by much. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So. Because I don't think he would have gone four bet just before, yeah. after second draw, with a seven. Yeah. There's a lot of players that I would have definitely felt good against, but again, playing enough with Jason there, I just, I, I knew he was very strong, so. Uh, so I had three bets and nine right from the start. And Roy actually has a 10 right from the start. These are two, some fairly strong hands because you got a, you got a four card doogie from the deal. Yes. So you, you don't have to draw any. Yes, so that's gonna be interesting to see because who's got position here? I guess Syed has position. And when he stands pat here, I wonder if that's going to make Roy break his 10. Yeah, and D ends up scrapping his hand. We don't see what he had, but he had called the original bet, and then by the time it gets around to him, it's either 3-bet or 4-bet, and he's like, mm, nope. And then they end up capping it. Oh, and then they, yeah, Well, so, what's interesting they is they pat. check it down and pat it because I, they're, they both like their 4-card, but... They know that it's vulnerable, especially if it's from the deal. You know, nine, eight, seven from the deal, pretty strong. And 10, eight from the deal, also very strong. But when it's from the deal, it's so hard to tell, like, yes. how strong is your from the deal pat hand? In, in because those are all very reasonable pat hands to be pat the whole way. Um, if Syed started firing, because he checked it, it, it allows Roy to just check it down and stay pat. If Syed fires, Roy has to really think about breaking the tent. You took the words right out of my yeah. mouth there. Syed might have actually won that hand by checking it down. Because yeah. what he did was he made Roy feel much better about his tent. And so now Roy is not going to break his tent. Yeah. Check it down. He's going to get a free showdown. 
otherwise he breaks his 10, he might draw better yeah. and, and, and then Syed loses. So in a way, uh, yeah, that check, that, that check down that works check out. That can actually work out. <laughs> Roy, again, I think this has happened to him several times in Badooki. He's got nice low cards yeah. looking, but then you've only got two suits covered. Yeah, sometimes, so kind sometimes of you look at those three cards yeah. and don't realize they're the same like, suit, uh, and it's like, oh, wait, what did I do here? Okay. <laughs> I've done that sometimes, thinking I'm going to, like, uh, I'll raise because I'm thinking I'm drawing one, just tossing the ten. And I look back, and I'm like, oh wait a second, I can't keep both diamonds. I gotta I gotta draw two. Darn it! Why did I raise? Oh, I've made all kinds of mistakes like that. Yeah. The, the worst is when you when you throw the wrong card away when you've paired your when oh. you paired one of your cards and you throw the wrong yeah. suit away and it's uh, yeah. I've made every mistake out there in this game, but I still love it. Ron's got a good draw here with the seven six three one. And he's going to be able to uh, draw one for the seven. And Robert's got, ooh, Robert's got a very good draw too. Is that oh, one yeah. two four? Ace two four. Sure. Oh, he's got to draw one. He's got a very strong yeah. draw. Get lucky with the three of hearts. Be gold. <laughs> three of hearts would be what we call the nuts. We still got a pretty good draw. Drawing one. We've got rid of the ten, obviously. Take the seven five three and try to get a spade. Robert stopped uh, trying to act nonchalant there, you know. Picks up he, a deuce of spades. He knows he's got a good hand. That's oh, pretty solid. He's got solid, though. That's not bad. And he raises it. He sticks in the two bet. Okay. Robert, of course. Robert decides to bail. He picked up an eight, yeah. and that's just not going to be good enough to continue. Well, it looks like he picked up a jack. Yeah, now he's got a fold. He's never going to fold. Oh, he was, he was yeah. drawing. There was still one. another Sorry, draw. Drawing. He's never going to fold. This. I saw cards, yeah. and I, I thought yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think he yeah. was a little frustrated that he, yeah, that he, he drew so the badly yeah. there. But yeah. Rightly so, because those, those are dream hands right there. You know, you want so bad. But you'll he's thinking right now, could my three card be good? Because he's got a sure. very solid three card, and Roy did stand pat. So there's a chance that he's got, like, a good three card also, possibly. But Robert decides that Roy probably would not stand pat on a three card. Yeah, and then fire. So. And then fire. You're right. you, 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 again, Roy Roy gets the credit there, um, for sure, because uh, you know he's very selective in his hands. So, which probably would make it easier for him to bluff, to be honest. But, <laughs> but yeah, there are occasions there where you definitely can look him up though with the three card. And, uh, <laughs> and you'd be good. Let's see, Jason opens here. The ten. Yeah, bumps up to ten. He's probably going to draw one. I'm calling, and it's like my hand for sure. Must have a good three card draw. Ron's actually not too bad off here. You know, you can draw one with a nine. Yeah, for sure. D's going to dump his pair of kings. Hmm. I called a raise and drew two. Must be, must have been drinking. <laughs> either that or I got, either that or I had an ace deuce in my hand. Could have been said, ace deuce. Yeah, I probably have like an ace deuce, deuce yeah. or a two three, and said, you know, let's go for it. I'm, I've been known to do that on occasion. Well, Johnny looks like he was uh, drawing 7-4-3 and pulled a jack. No, and then I fold right away, so I got trash. I wasted $10 there. And that's what you're getting back at before. Yeah, you, you probably, you know, yeah. yeah you what fold, if you would just fold it? Just fold, save $10. You $10 there. more, yeah. yeah. You may have a, oh no, it's seven, seven of diamonds, my bad. Yeah, he has to toss the jack in the seven. I, didn't, Jason, I didn't catch that yeah, a second. Ago. And Jason's pad at this point, so. I mean, even even with Ron's, what's he got, the nine draw, I, I wouldn't really like that nine draw. If it, against there. Jason. Okay. Well, he must have a, 
we must have a I must have pulled a or seven or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, because he had the nines before the draw, so and he drew at least one. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering. I, I forget what he did because he might have pitched both nines for all I know, but. So we got a nice pop brewing with one more draw to go. Jason's pat, Ron's pat, so he definitely doesn't have 9964 mm -hmm. unless he's super leveling us again. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. But how, how can you do that leveling when the guy in front of you is pat? I no. mean, he's, he's good enough to know that. So, yeah. so it's a mystery. We no, got, I know we're for sure. Have a, I know Ron would never do yeah. that. He knows he knows better than that. Yeah, yeah. We got. Uh, look at that. Yeah, he's got yeah. a 7-6. Seven, 7-6. Seven. Oh, and Jason's got the 7-5. Seven, 7-6 seven, usually good. Jason's got the 7-5. Yep. And Johnny, unfortunately, pulled a jack. So that's the second one Jason yeah. scooped with a very strong, against an, an opponent that had a very strong hand. So Jason running good. Yeah, those are very strong. Those are two very strong hands, 7-5-3-2, 7-6-4-3. Yeah. So yep. it totally made sense for Ron to call there. Um, oh, just sure. had a little reader problems with the 9-9, nine, nine, sure. but definitely when he picks up the 7-6, he's got a. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call all day there. And he did, and Ron made a uh, good move to not raise. Yeah. You, you just call there and take your lumps if you're no good. That's all. And, and that's what happens in this game. Looks like Roy is the big blind, which means this should be the last hand, I believe. So, someone already moved the plaque over, but it's still Padugi for this hand. Yes. I, I opened, I made a raise. So Robert sure. with the trip jacks decides that's not going to be good. I thought you were a better player than that, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> so I raised and got a few customers, so. Looks like I have a pretty good. Uh, That's interesting. I have a pretty good three card. Roy went ahead and did a draw three, which is interesting. That's very interesting. That's about as out of line as I've seen Roy get. <laughs> Was he a blind? He probably just decided to call one more. Because I think. It was oh, he just wasn't the big blind. You're right. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. I mean, uh, you know. You're right. For that, one, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, with all that You're cheddar in the in. pot. When, yeah. When, yeah, when five players or four players call ahead of you. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Why not? And then look, look what he. Well, he drew a. I mean, he drew an ace. He, drew two. he yeah. improved, but. Yeah, did not. It's a rough improvement because you still got to draw two. Well, he's going to call. He's he's going for it. Go, Roy. I he's also in an early position, which means he's most likely to get fresh cards. Yeah, that, that's you know, true. You're not going to get the shuffle. I still have to draw one. Ron is drawing one. And look at that. Roy pulls a 7-6. I guess that did pan out. It pans out. Yeah, he's going to lead out. A spoiler alert. I, Good, uh, I drew a plan. little. I remember this. I drew a little better. Yeah, and I put the raise in. Oh, yep. Yeah. Jersey John raising it. Yeah. Two bets in. Roy's just going to call. Yeah, this is where I get I get a little gun shy on this one because I'd already lost with the six earlier. Yeah, yeah. And right. then. and then It all plays into your mind of what you're thinking about. So we both, yeah. Because Roy stands pat, not, you're like, oh, does no, this, this, can this happen again? Not only does he stand pat, yeah. but remember, I raise, and if I'm correct here, he's going to lead out. Yeah. So now I'm like, oh boy, <laughs> right? Like, no. uh, so Didn't I'm just, we just do this. Yeah, you know, oh. obviously I'm never folding, but I'm like, right. do I raise here? Uh, no, no, I'm not gonna raise. And uh, I, I had a six here. I think it was the same exact hand I had before against Jason yeah. that I lost with. So six five thirty two. Yeah. So <laughs> not only had I lost with the same exact hand, yeah, you get yeah. And you know, you're not supposed to let yourself get into those spots and get gun shy, but you know, it's only human. Right, absolutely. I mean the last thing you want is for, you know, everyone to turn over and Roy's got six yeah. three two. Right. 
six, yeah, six, three, two, one again. It was like, very. Oh, that, it just happened again. to me five not hands not ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, well, that's the end of this uh, stream we have. So I hope you had a good time Mike, doing this little commentary. I, hope, I know you had fun playing. I appreciate it, man. I love, yeah. I love being part of this. I love playing this, yeah. and uh, uh, I definitely, before I go, got to give a shout out to all you guys here, to you for doing this stream, and for to all the staff here at Rounders. It's just this is the best cl club bar none in San Antonio, and uh, yeah. I'm just a player here, guys. I'm not an employee or anything. I just love this place. So come yep. on down. Yeah, and, and like I said, these mixed games they run. Three nights a week. We run uh, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. Come on, get on the list if you're interested in these kind of games. They're very interesting. And we usually do Dealer's Choice, uh, which is a bigger variety of games than uh, some of the games uh, are not supported by the stream. So that's why they're not featured here. But we do play them. And the action is basis. good. You will not be disappointed. Thanks, right. Mike. We'll see you guys back in January for live streams. Bye.